Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Prophetic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress hooks tutorial for beginners and this is part 12. In this video session guys, we will discuss about the action hook called login form. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our other playlist and previous video sessions to get the clear concept about WordPress hooks tutorial. So basically guys, what is action hook login form stands? Okay, so if you back to browser, so this is the administrator panel okay so if we just click on log out so this is our login screen okay so if suppose guys we want to add some of the extra fields inside this login form right now we have two input fields first for the username or email address and second is one for the password okay so if suppose we want to add some of the extra fields inside this login form so how can we add that so basically guys if you want to do some type of task then at that time we have to use called login form action hook so basically if you want to attach any of the extra fields with our login form then this action hook will be fired okay so just back to editor so basically guys this is the plugin so far we have developed to understand about the wordpress hooks okay so in the last previous video session we had discussed about wp head and wp footer action hooks okay so let's make a function basically that function contains our input form element and now that element we want to attach with our login form so let's make a function so function let's say OWT login input form okay so just inside this callback function next we have to attach this callback function with our action who call login form okay so it's login form just copy this function name and pass inside the second parameter of this add action method okay it's not method it's a function okay so basically inside this callback function guys we're going to make a input type text box basically some type of dummy element okay so just I'm going to wrap this and let's say that inside paragraph tag we are going to make that element okay so it basically contains a label something called that if you want to enter the name of the person okay so let's name here we have to pass called attributes called for this is an optional parameter of label element okay so this is something for txt name right here we are going to make an input type text box okay so input it should be type equal to text class something equal to input okay and let's say size equal to 25 so these are the attributes guys we have bind actually inside with the text box and okay and also value should be empty right now okay so just if I save this file right now what we did we have made a callback function we have attached with this callback function with login form action hook okay and now inside this callback function guys we have to find a simple element of type name okay so if we save this file go to browser reload this page so now as we can see that guys we have an input type element called name okay so this is the extra field that we have added inside our login form if suppose we want to add more elements to this login form just back to editor now here let's say that another paragraph tag and let's say for the label section inside this label section now next we are going to take the phone number okay so let's say phone number it should be for let's say that txt phone okay let's we are going to define that the input type text box so input it should be type let's say that text class should be called input size equal to 25 and now value should be empty for now okay so if I suppose save this file go to browser reload this page and now I can see that inside this login form two fields that we have made as the custom input type text box that is for the name section and that is for the phone number okay now how can we validate these fields and now also how can we save these values to our database table so we we have many options to validate these fields and we have also many ways to save these values to database field okay so in the next video session guys we will discuss about login head action hook basically used to validate these type of input box which is associated with our login form so basically guys this is only about login form action hooks basically login form action hook guys is used to attach any of the extra fields if you want to make with the login form so by the help of which we can attach our extra fields with the login form okay so this is the simplest way guys by using this we can understand about the use of login form okay so if you have any query in this video session guys then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day